Hi everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the fifth video on how to do FortiGate API automation using Python. In the previous videos, we have seen how to initiate API connection to FortiGate, get the configuration using API, parse it, and how to take configuration backup. So this was the script which we executed earlier for taking the configuration backup. So I'll delete the previous backup and it will store the configuration as backup 02 so once i run that i'll be getting configuration backup here in this video we'll see how to trigger an email about the status of backup whether it is successful or failed and we'll create a log file also for the backup now for that i'll just copy this script create a new file I'll name it as 4 email status I'll put the complete script here now to tr trigger an email or create the log file I have created one video earlier this was a script here I have explained how to enable logging and how to trigger email so I'll be adding that video URL in the description and notification so here I have created multiple handlers like two files I was storing during the execution of each uh, execution of the script so I was storing it as info and debug and then i was even showing some output in the stream but in our case we primarily need only email and a single file i have explained this in detail in that video i'll add that video you can have a look if you're interested now let me just copy this complete part copy this and I'll put it into the this script and now here I'm importing logging then here I'm setting the mail password as an environment variable because I don't want to keep it open in the script so I have created another video explaining that as well so where you can set the password and all the secret information within the machines environment so here when I execute this the mail password when I execute the environment variable mail password script will be able to get my gmail password now to set gmail to trigger an email what you need to do you need to go to account security and there is an option to create a password there you need to create a password and you need to keep that password as secure don't use your primary accounts just try to create a test account for these purposes and you need to make sure you are keeping this secret key secure and here I have set a mail password and then I'm creating a logger and here in our case you can just give another name here I'll call this as firewall backup in the email we'll be getting even this name also and in our case we don't need info and stream we are not going to get anything in console we will try getting only one file so file name we can change i'll call this backup.log and this is the email configuration where i'm connecting to smtp.gmail.com this is a standard configuration for gmail 
and I'm using from and to address then the subject name I'll change this to firewall backup status and here in credentials I'm passing mail password then we don't need these two handlers so I'll remove that and for email also I'll change this to info so that I'll get information and above info and above all the logs in email as well now here we'll put in the output I'll put message before the level name you can customize however you want these details So here I am having formatter for a debug and a SMTP handler. So all these places. Yeah. Now logging is enabled in this script. Now we can add logger wherever we need. Actually we can add one logger while initiating the backup. So what we can do here. logger dot we'll make it as a debug log so that we'll get it in the file as well I'll just type initiated configuration backup And after that, here we'll be getting the response and here we'll just do a log. Info and above will be going to email as well. We can see the minimum level here. Info for email. So info and above will be going to so I'll just set a message here it will be a formatted string backup status code Here I'll give the file name 03. My inbox is empty, so I'll try running the script. yes we can see here I have received an email saying that backup status code 200 that means backup is successful and we can see the time as well here now if I trigger again received another email with the backup uh, status code 200 so let's see one failure scenario here 
here I'll add one additional number within the authorization key so that it will fail because authentication will fail now if I trigger and backup now you can see the status code is 401 that means backup failed it is authorization failed if you need we can do additional customization here within the script build a print of response code here and we'll stop printing the backup from here and we can write a condition here if response dot status code equal to 200 then we will log a message saying that backup successful and I will write a else condition backup failed and code it will send the code now since I am having additional number here so it should fail again we will try running it now we are getting 401 here I will check the email you can see the backup status and backup failed code 401 we will be able to see the time yeah now it is 200 so we will verify that now backup is successful we are getting the message so in the next video we will see how to schedule the backup operation based on the requirement like hourly ones or daily ones and it can trigger automatically the email we'll see those options in the next video i hope this video was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video